Can't we do like a introduction sequence where I'm like rolling out of bed and I already look like this? And I'm like, well, hello. Sure. Don't look at me like this. I just got out of bed. You ready? I told you I was rolling. Just kidding. Hello. Hey, welcome to the second episode of Ashley's Pinterest Pick of the Week. I am making buffalo. Look at this, guys. I got it in front of me, so I don't have to look over there. I'm just pretty impressed with myself. Anyway. Buffalo Ranch Stuffed Peppers. This could be interesting. I don't like my peppers cooked. That sounds weird. How can you say that word? It doesn't sound off. I don't like cooked pepper. I don't like vegetables that are cooked usually. We are going to make buffalo ranch stuffed peppers. So let's do this. We need four chicken breasts. And look at this, how convenient. I have four. One medium onion. This is a little bigger than medium, I feel, but you know what up. Dried parsley, uh, dill, chives, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, extra butter. Some of it, I'm gonna use the spray olive oil because otherwise I feel like it's a lot of butter. Four peppers, hot sauce, and again, butter. To start off with, I have to cut this onion. I probably should have done that to begin with. So, James, speed this up. And I need to be like a princess and I need those small woodland creatures and birds as they lightly place it atop of me and say, tweet, tweet, Ashley, you're the best cook ever. Let me go make your bed and clean your room. Look at how nicely she... Normally I don't have this trouble. I can cut an onion. I sprayed the pan with olive oil. Yeah, it says to like put butter over each chicken breast. However, I'm going to use the Pam nonstick olive oil instead of butter and let's hope it turns out because otherwise I'm using butter to coat the chicken and butter to make the uh, buffalo, whatever, the buffalo sauce. So now we are going to mix our dry ingredients and it calls for a half a teaspoon of each, I do believe. So parsley, dill, not even open, I use this often. Okay, half a teaspoon of dill. Okay, half a teaspoon of dried chives, garlic powder, and onion powder, and then salt and pepper, however much you want, so I'm just gonna take a pinch. Actually, I'm gonna do a couple pinches because we like pepper. Future film starring me. You're gonna take some of this out, right? I mean, like me being stupid. Mixed my dried spices. Got them here in my handy cup. All right guys, so we're gonna take our chicken, we're putting it in there, and we're hoping for the best because I'm just gonna spray it with olive oil and I'm not using my fingers because that's icky. But I'm just gonna spray it with olive oil and hope for the best. So those of you who do cook, you can tell me if what I did is super, super wrong. Because <laughs> it said you want like a fat-like substance and it said you can use ghee, but there's no ghee for me. <laughs> Say pity laugh. Pity laugh. That wasn't a pity laugh. <laughs> so you put your butter on, if you're going to use butter, and not do what I do. You're going to put it on top of your chicken after you're done, apparently. So, first thing though, you want to put your onion. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And then you're also gonna put your dried stuff over the top. No. This is kind of like the healthier, supposedly, version of the ranch packets that you get. So instead of getting ranch packets, you're making your own. Any hoozles. That is that. I'm gonna stick it in the oven on three, or on three, at 350 for about 30 minutes. And then we'll pull it out and we'll see hopefully what happens. All right. So, I'm not gonna do that. It's weird, like seriously, it's 
like when people go, Oh, hello! It's just, See you there! We're cutting straight from the close up to this. What are you guys doing here? So, since we have a half. I can't, I do hear the video. <laughs> this all better go out. <laughs> okay, so since we have a half hour for that to cook ish, um, let's go ahead and we'll make our guacamole and we'll make our buffalo sauce. So now we need a fourth of a cup of butter. And we're gonna need a half a cup of hot sauce, which I have a feeling I'm going to regret not buying a different kind of hot sauce and using sriracha. Ooh, that With is- Sriracha is amazing. It's going to make my mouth burn. So right now we're just gonna melt the butter and once all the butter is melted, we're gonna add the hot sauce. You stir it for just a little bit and then you take it off the heat, set it aside, and then after that we're making guacamole. Now we're making the guacamole. It says that you need two avocados. I got an extra because I like it more so avocado than you know anything else. I forgot the lime, so we'll see how that tastes. Well done me. But now is the cilantro. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Seriously love cilantro. And you need two to three tablespoons of it finely chopped. So that is what I'm doing. Finely chopping. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, in and we're gonna mash it all up and then add a little bit of salt. Okay for those of you that don't know if you save the pits oh, chicken's done. If you save the pits and you put them in and then you put it into the fridge this helps it stay nicer and not turn brown as quickly. While I'm waiting for the chicken to finish cooking I've got my guacamole I've got the sauce that I'm gonna mix with it you need to cut the tops off your peppers and make sure all the seeds are out and all that good stuff. And these are what you're going to scoop the chicken into. They're gonna be little bowls. Okay, now that it's cooked, we're going to slice it so that we can put it in the sauce and shove it in our stuffed peppers. For technical cooking terms, <laughs> refer to Ashley's Dictionary. I know. Okay, so I chopped and shredded the chicken and then you add it your buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce. And stir it all up. <laughs> Are you <laughs> So now that you've stirred your chicken in your buffalo sauce, you you add it to your peppers. <laughs> Cooking chicken. And the rooster's mad because I killed his wife. Don't know why there's a donkey here. Or sheep. Okay, so now that we've stuffed the peppers, we are going to put it in the oven for, it says 35 to 45 minutes but it also says to whatever consistency you like your peppers. So I'm only gonna do 30, cause I don't like mushy peppers. So putting it in the oven 30 minutes and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so they're done and I am going to go ahead and garnish it with the avocado that they suggest, but I'm also going to do a little bit of cheese because we're a cheese family and we really like it. Um, some blue cheese dressing on the side because, at least for me, this is really spicy. So blue cheese kind of helps to simmer the spice. Anyway, and then I also have some chips to kind of dip in the guacamole if we want. So, I'll get it all put together and James will do his movie magic and you'll get to wheel it around and see it. But, 
that's pretty much it if you guys tried it let me know how yours turned out if you have a stuffed pepper recipe or any recipe that you think I should try just go ahead and send it on my way and if you want to get this recipe then the link will be down below to my Pinterest and I guess that's it comment like share whatever it is you want to do and I'll see you guys next time What are you doing, air guitar?